Hey guys, this is Ian. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to work with variables. So um, I'm going to teach you one primitive data type, which is basically a data type. <laughs> um, it's called a double, and it's basically a number with a decimal point. So um, you have to type double. You have to say the type of variable it is first. Then you can name the variable. You would usually start with a lowercase letter, and then um, for multiple words inside of a variable name, you would make the other words capitalized, like my var or variable if it's one letter. Um, I'll say my double. Okay. Now, right now, you just would press the semicolon. You would add a semicolon. And now let's set this variable value. Okay, so my double equals random value. Okay, now to output it, you would do system dot out dot whoops out dot print ln my double. Okay, so print ln print line basically just prints a line to the output over here. Um, system is basically a helper thing that Java gives you that lets you execute stuff using it. I know what I just said didn't make any sense at all so just ignore what I said. But println is contained within the out variable within the whoops within the system class basically um so this would output my double to the console and also a new line because it's print ln if i just did print then it wouldn't add another line but we're, we're going to use print ln so if i press play it prints it out with a line a new line now if i just do print See, it doesn't add a new line, so the build successful is on the same line as the one, two, three, one, two, three, blah, blah, blah. Okay, um, so we could also take advantage of this by saying system dot out dot print my double is that's a string, so you need to put it in quotations. I'll explain strings later. My double is my double, and let's make this ln. See how it doesn't add a new line, so it makes it easier. You could also output it by using the plus operator. It's something called concatenation, which I won't really explain because it's a weird concept. But yeah, you can put a plus and then it would it would add it to the string. Whoops, we need an ln. And yeah, it just combines this and this. And it turns this into a string, so yeah, it's combined. Um, you could also initialize or basically declare the variable at the same step as when you set its value, like that. Put double my double equals blah blah blah, and it would have the same result. You could also set my double to a different value after you um, set it to one value like this and it would change its value so that's basically variables um, thanks for watching please subscribe if you like my video bye